I think we got a sure instant classic on our hands. Or should I say, an instant classic. I have a history of uh, playing a little bit of pickleball in middle school, so I have a little bit of an advantage over there. So I'm feeling really confident in going into this game. I've never played pickleball. I watched, I was laying in bed before I went to bed last night, watched about 30 minutes worth of video, so I'm hoping it pays off today. Oh, come on now! Welcome, Clemson family, to another episode of Versus Pickleball Edition. We're here at the Reeves Football Operations Complex Pickleball Court, where we have a matchup between Barrett Carter and Jeremiah Trotter. I'm here with expert pickleball player, Grand Inspector. Yeah, I'm feeling really good. Shout out Brand Inspector just for teaching me his ways because he's really a pro at this. Hey, no you, no, you don't have to tell him anything. He's been playing that since middle school, he got it. And in the warm-up game, you really don't want to show your hand too early. That's right. And that's a bad backhand right there. Trotter hits it way out of bounds. We need another ball. You know, some people say the pickleball is just small tennis. I say it's just big ping pong. It's a beautiful day in Clemson, South Carolina. Beautiful day to whip some tail in pickleball. Shout out to Roger Federer. I don't know how you take points in this game or how that any of that works. But, you know, we're just gonna play, play until I get the win. That's, that's the motto, let's do it. Brandon, why don't you give us an overview of the rules and strategies of pickleball? Well, first things first, I would say let's start off with the kitchen. The kitchen is something that you can't step into unless the ball bounces into it. With that being said, the rest of the game is just like tennis and ping pong. So there's a lot of ways that you can score, but uh, just making sure that you score when you have the serve on your side. And a lot of trash talk too. You gotta wonder if that's gonna oh, yeah. start to creep into the Come minds of now. our athletes. Come on now. I can tell Bear is tired over there. He's flustered. He's trying to talk to the camera, but Who as you telling? can tell, I got him nervous from that first warm-up game. I'm gonna go and talk to your camera too. That's, I'm feeling disrespectful. You know, he's a good player. He's a really good player. Uh, nothing I can't handle. Without any further ado, let's check in on the action and get this game rolling. Trotter's gonna start with the serve. Carter's gonna return. He's got the SpongeBob socks on. Here we go, there's a serve in the box. Carter with a backhand return. Overhead from Carter and he whiffs on it. I wasn't on the ball, Coach Beck. See, uh, Barrett with uh, his aggressiveness, you know, playing linebacker, that is really good out there on the field. On the pickleball court, we have to really be locked in, not get too aggressive, and uh, just play each play by itself. We'll see how he responds as he returns this one forehand. Trotter playing it with ease. Carter playing a little tight, there but it's go. Trotter that hits it into the net. Those backhands really can cost you. You gotta make sure that you're really following through. And right there, we saw Jeremiah Trotter struggling with the backhand. It's never been about the miss about us, let's go. Here we have a nice serve, drops into the kitchen from Trotter. He returns it backhand, plays the backhand from Carter, and he hits it out of bounds. That didn't hit the line? Jeremiah right there was doing really well, controlling the game, having Barrett run, but costed him. They don't put championship rings on smooth hands. You see this? Not smooth hands, not at all. So here's Carter with a forehand return, Trotter with the response, and he hits it out of bounds again. That wind is taking it, man. The wind was not even blowing right there. No, he's a big competitor. I know Bear's going to bring his A game. I think you actually see that on the field, the way he plays the game, where he celebrates after tackles. It's pretty much the same energy he brings off the field. Carter yes. miss hits the return. I, I, I had a radar on that, said that that serve came in at 107 miles an hour. You know, I have a hard time believing that, but uh, you're the data man, so I'm going to let you have that. Well, he did say he's inspired by Serena Williams out here, so you have to wonder if he attacks his serve the same way. He cheats in every game he plays, too. But that, we'll say that, that's another, that's a different story, so we'll save that. Oh, 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 oh! What are you doing? You gotta be ready at all times. What time. are you doing? Trotter tries to take some, some distraction away from Carter. Carter's just not paying attention. He's really, you know, beside himself here. He's trying to cheat. Get in! Carter hits Get the sideline and go. he keeps it inbounds! Tony Sosa. It's really important to take advantage of your serve so you can get those points. See if he can convert with That's the serve. Out. He cannot. I'll he take just that can't back. Find the box. There's Trotter. Drops it in. Carter with the easy response. Backhand, backhand, backhand. Oh, we're going big time into the net from Carter. Ah, 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 ah. Trotter converts Time. There. time. Official, time. what's our rule on timeouts? I have never heard of a timeout in pickleball, but uh, you know, in this game, I guess we can switch up the rules. So I just gotta keep the pressure on him. 
as you can see, I feel like he's a little bit of fluster. He's, uh, he's starting to feel the game. You have to wonder what he's going to do. He's, he's got no coach out here. He's no one in his corner. He's all alone. And he's just pretending like he doesn't hear us. Continue to just do what I know how to do. Not worry about it. All right, grind on three. One, two, three, grind. We go. We got it. Trotter, really, really confident. He's got a different level of swagger than he did in the warm-up game, which he also won. You can definitely see in this game right now that he's feeling himself. Big swing from Carter. Great response, Come on he's now. back Come in the on now. Great hit. Great hit. As you it's can see right hit. there, he kept the ball very low over the net. He's wearing the SpongeBob sock. SpongeBob known for jellyfishing, which takes a lot of effort with the net. That's right. Carter's taking that too much to heart. Carter trying to take advantage of the sides, but it's not working out too well for him. No, it's not. He went with fried okra instead of that sweet potato casserole. Trotter has full advantage here of his serve. He's using the wind, drops it into the box. A big response from Trotter. Going forehand from Carter. That's out, right? Too far. He's out. Out, out of bounds. Yeah. Now we're playing into the kitchen here. We're hovering around like supper time. Oh, and wow. a big swing from Trotter. Wow. Playing to 11. Hits it into the box. Carter with a nice response. Backhand from Trotter. Tries to play the back line and he hits it. That's inbounds. Wow. Wow. Doesn't quite hit a point, but he gets the serve back in his hands and a chance to make a comeback. That's right. Oh, but ah! Carter hits it back into the net and he takes the serve right back to Trotter. Good swing there from Carter. Puts him Come on back. his heels. He plays it deep. Oh, but he oh, played man. it. I played Trotter it. played it into the net. That's bad IQ. I'm going to get it back. I'm going to get it back. I play defense. I'm going to get it back. That's very bad IQ. See ball, hit ball, but like he said, he's playing. He's a defensive player, and he's playing on the defense here. Carter with the serve, response from Trotter. Forehand to forehand, we got a backhand from Carter. A nice backhand across court. Very proud of that. That was, ooh, that was true athleticism right there coming out of Bear Carter. Threw the ball. We got a little bit of trash talking. Trotter, not known for his trash talk. You have to wonder if he's a little yeah. bit here as Carter hits it out of bounds off the serve. Oh man, he cannot hit the box there. That's a nice little drop into the box, an underhand there. And it's too short. The wind picked up at the last second and just dropped it back in his own kitchen. Oh, officials, officials call an illegal serve. All Look at you. Carter. He's probably been doing that the whole game, too. Dropped in. Great backhand. A good little splice there. A nice response. Out. Carter tries to play the sideline. Really good by Trotter there by letting it go and not being too aggressive. Incredible discipline. That's just two great competitors going at it at the highest level. You love to see it. You really do. We got, we got match point here. All right. Big serve. Falls in. Carter. Oh, no. Hits the net and falls back into his own kitchen. Wow. Is that it? That's it. That's it. Good game. Carter kind of falling apart here. I give a lot of respect to my opponent. I know I was talking a lot of trash, but after the, after the fact, after the game, I could shake hands with him and give him my respect. He gave me a, a hard fought win and, you know, really made me work for it. You have to wonder what the response all off season is going to be for Mr. Carter as he contemplates life and all of its great mysteries and his own place in it. We're going to bring our champion out here, our versus uh, competitor, our versus winner and somebody who really saw a light of pickleball shine from within, Mr. Trotter. Hi, how you doing? Now, on the football field, you wear number 54, an obvious homage to your father, famous Philadelphia Eagle. Where do you draw your inspiration from for a pickleball success? I'd probably say uh, Serena Williams. I know she's a tennis player, but she's a big inspiration in that, in that, that sport. She matches her uh, physical ability and just strength, but also touch when she needs it, and I feel like that really plays a part in my game. Now back to our expert, Spectre. Anything to add? No, I just really thought you did a great job finding the soft spots of Barrett Carter's game. Um, just overall, a great performance out here from you. Really proud of you, man. Thank you. I really appreciate that, best friend. Last point. Is there anybody you'd like to challenge next on this court? You know what? I don't have anybody specific, but I'm ready to go. Wherever place, whatever court, whatever ball they want to use, I'm ready to go. It's on site with Mr. Trotter. I definitely get Barrett a rematch. I feel like he deserves one. It was a close game. But uh, I don't know if he wants that embarrassment again. We love the trash talk. He was pretty hesitant with that. Well, we will be back. Congratulations on the win. Thanks, Mr. Trotter. For the whole versus team, I've been Alex Bina. 
Brandon Spector. Thank you so much for tuning in, and until next time, catch you on the flippity flip.